Reentry in grief, starting new when everything feels foreign. A large part of what TCKs face as they move so frequently is grieving the changes that are constantly coming at them and not knowing how to process what they feel. Uh, they often fall into periods where they're told that they can't grieve or that their feelings aren't valid enough to grieve. But what is grief? Grief is a natural healing process that shows a person has loved something enough to feel hurt by its loss and forces the soul to pause, allowing them time to heal. Grief can be hidden, anticipatory, secondary, or unresolved. But any way you look at it, grief is painful for TCKs. Hidden grief can gnaw away at a person and taint their relationships with others. The grief of moving is made up of a hundred little losses, each needing to be mourned. Some people grieve before a loss, which is anticipatory grief, and others grieving after. Secondary grief comes when the TCK's new life is no longer novel as it was in the beginning. So when they fall into routine, they begin to grieve all over again because they're realizing that it's changing and this is going to be their new normal which can be upsetting for them because parents and other adults aren't prepared for the second wave of grief and can discount easily how deeply the TCK is hurting. Grief looks different for everybody. So it can be where someone can be expressive about it, but others might not. The stages of grief include denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. Denial is when they pretend that the loss does not matter. Anger, when the TCK realizes that the loss does matter to them. Bargaining, when the TCKs look for ways to make things better. Depression, when they recognize and feel the loss, and acceptance, when they don't ignore or forget the pain, but they are able to say, okay, this is going to be okay, and I can accept this for what it is. Unresolved grief comes not only from hidden losses and fears, but from the lack of permission to grieve, as some TCKs receive very direct messages that it's not okay for them to grieve, which is also considered outlawed grief when the TCKs realize that grieving may be wrong whether it's wrong spiritually or culturally. There is also the issue of lack of permission to grieve, lack of time to process, and lack of comfort. Unresolved grief can ex be expressed in a number of ways, either through denial, anger, bargaining, sadness, depression, withdrawal, and rebellion, then moving into vicarious grief, in which the focus is transferred from personal grief or that of others in an effort to express the unresolved grief. Delayed grief comes later and shocks those who are feeling it most as they don't anticipate the next wave of grief. This can this usually is when the TCK has moved back to their home culture 
and doesn't anticipate feeling sad over what they have and what was. Usually, according to Van Recken and Pollock, this usually happens between the ages of 25 and 40. Grief is a large part of the third culture person's life. Those who choose to go abroad experience many losses, such as loss of their world, status, lifestyle, possessions, relationship, role models, system identity, the past that wasn't, and the past that was. Their relationships and role models and possessions can be friends, family, pets, homes, toys, any number of things. And all these things, while seemingly trivial in an in a sense, can deeply affect their ability to move on and grow and start a new life in a new place. The system identity comes when the child is used to just having a family and not being connected to the parents and their work. But when they move abroad, they might be connected to the business or to the military or the missions or any number of things. The, these losses are considered hidden losses, the main issue of which not being grief, but that there are no obvious markers or rites of passage recognizing them as they occur, leaving the TCK feeling as though there's no recognized way to mourn, as there was when someone passes away. Parents can help their children grieve by not discounting their grief or showing that their grief doesn't matter. A lot of TCKs struggle to express emotions because their parents aren't expressing their emotions and feeling them or giving them the freedom they need to grieve and validating that the TCK's feelings are real. Parents need to acknowledge that they too are grieving and understand that as they deny their grief, their children are seeing them deny their feelings, in turn causing their children to deny their grief. Parents need to know that there may be a lack of time to grieve, lack of time to process, as it is so easy now with air transportation to fly from country to country and lack of comfort as children feel like their feelings will again be discounted. A lot of times parents don't realize the deep effects that it that moving abroad has on their TCKs often struggling to watch them grieve and help them realize that their feelings are validated. Grieving well. For parents, this grief can be a hard thing to watch their children go through as they may feel guilty for initiating the move. But we need to remind parents that though it is painful to watch their child grieve, it will only last for a season and that their child needs to see them grieve as it can be helpful for them to process their feelings. Comfort the person who is grieving, but remember comfort is not encouragement. And ultimately, help the child to say good goodbyes so that they know they can acknowledge that things will be different and that they do need to feel sad 
to 